Hey, Jamie Stenhouse here. Welcome to Washington DC. And today I want to share with you the 10,000 hour rule from, from a different point of view. Share with you how to really develop those skills to a high level so that you can develop that mastery. So let's talk about the 10,000 hour rule. Now this isn't anything new, I hope. I, I hope you've heard it for P4, but if not, it pretty much is to develop a skill set of mastery in any craft, in any industry, in any skill set. Let's say it takes around 10,000 hours. Just lots and lots of practice and lots and lots of repetition, right? And that is probably true. It takes a long time to become great, if not to become a master at anything. However, I see a lot of people approach it incorrectly. I see a lot of people just putting hours up on the scoreboard as opposed to practicing correctly. Now that's not to say that those hours don't count for anything. And you may have heard the phrase, practice makes perfect, and the usual correction to that is no. Perfect practice makes perfect. And I'll go even one step further in terms of make sure you're practicing the actual skill set you want to improve rather than, than the skill sets around the thing that you want to improve. So I will elaborate on that. So my coach, my training coach at Muay Thai and Krav Maga summed it up perfectly. Somebody asked coach, how do I improve on my kicking? And of course the answer was kick more. And I think that blunt and direct answer was just perfect because a lot of times to improve a direct skill set, if it be kicking or if it be copywriting or if it be closing clients, we practice other things around the skill set. So if we take the example of doing Krav Maga kicks or Muay Thai roundhouse kicks, you might be practicing other skill sets around the actual skill set. So may, you might be doing yoga or you might be doing stretches or lunges or practicing your flexibility and while that's important to develop that skill set you're taking time away from actually practicing the thing you want to improve at. If we take me doing keynote speeches or me speaking in front of people what I could have done is maybe worked on my confidence, maybe worked on my tonality, maybe worked on my keynote presentation and really made sure it had the good grammar, good good phrases and was produced correctly and I could have done that but instead I chose just to get in front of people and begin talking because that was the skills that I actually wanted to improve so when you are looking at practicing or honing in on an actual skill set try not to get caught up in learning the things around the actual skill set that you want to improve on so if you look in the health industry or the health category if you want to let's say improve the number of push-ups that you can do you could train chest from you know your flyers or your bench press or say your incline but at the end of it it's really the push-up practice that is going to give you the skill set as opposed to practicing everything around it as well so if you are looking at developing a new skill set or you want to improve your current skill set, make sure you are practicing the actual skills that you want to improve rather than the complementary skill sets around that skill set because yes those are important but you don't want to get caught up in them too much because sometimes we can get caught up in practicing in practicing these skill sets that complement the core skill set that we want to learn and that can be summed up as summed up as productive pro procrastination whereby yes you're learning something but it's taking time out of the thing you actually should be practicing or the skills that you should be doing your home work on so ensure that if you do want to develop any skill set at a really high level that you are practicing the actual skill set as opposed to the complementary things endlessly around because although practicing those might be required and they might help you in the actual core skill set you're not practicing the thing that you actually want to be doing so that's it from me here in Washington DC hope you found that helpful and ensure that you that you are practicing the thing that you want to actually improve on